Dun, 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 dun. Rachel Detective! Welcome back! I hope you didn't fall asleep. But anyways, here it is. Here's the stuff. Um, so, the spring guide is the first part. Then you got your spring. We just removed. And now we're going to go ahead and start disassembling the, uh, the cylinder. So we actually, we can take the piston out. This is the piston. Here's the cylinder tube, cylinder head. Uh, that kind of just sits in there. If there is movement, that's fine. What you want to do uh, when checking for a seal of a cylinder as general maintenance and uh, uh, teching is if there is any leakage or air escape, then what you do is kind of plug the areas and see if there's any air coming from out the cylinder. That's a good way to, you know, troubleshoot or tech your guns, make sure that they're up to par. And that's importing uh, from factory. Okay, so here's the air nozzle. And remember, the air nozzle fits in the tappet plate. Um, don't put it on the other side, or if there's any loose movement, this should be locked to the tappet plate, or you're gonna have issues where it's, you know, not gonna shoot properly and the gun just won't work. That's a very important thing. A lot of people miss that when teching their guns and they go and see their gun tech. Excuse me, tape is falling. They go see their gun tech and they're like, I, it's not firing, I don't know what's wrong. And usually it's the nozzle not on the type of, uh, type of plate. So make sure that does go on properly. Uh, now the return spring is holding down the plate. So, you won't, don't want to forget that. So the spring can go to the side. The air nozzle can go with the cylinder. Uh, then we get down. Um, we'll go to the gears next. Uh, the, uh, so the trigger will hit the, um, uh, the selector plates and the yaw bar. Uh, so that, I'm not going to go too much into the trigger contacts. Um, that might be in a later video if I do install a MOSFET or something. Um, but uh, just make sure in general maintenance is your selector switch. This is the other side of it. And if it's too loose, sometimes you have issues going from full to semi-auto to safe. And you just want to tighten that screw if you do have a screw. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm going to leave this kind of alone. Maybe clean the contacts, show you how to clean contacts. Uh, but here's the sector gear. Um, bearings so we'll leave the bearings to the side and the shims and shimming your gears is going to be a different uh, it's going to be a different topic in a different video I don't have enough shims to shim this properly I'm not interested in shimming it yet maybe in a different video I'll do uh, shimming and then here's the rest of your gears this is the anti-reverse -re pin, so that will basically stop it from uh, rotating the opposite way, which is bad. It's a no-no. Uh, more bearings, more bushings, uh, part of the wiring harness, and then the frame itself, and the bearings just sit in there. Uh, and that's basically a gearbox in a nutshell. Um, that's it's very basic to tear apart and most easiest thing in the world to do is tear apart your gearbox. But not everyone can put it back together. That's the hard part. That's where uh, gun techs come in. Uh, but you know what? Here I'm going to show you how to do it and hopefully I show you properly and you don't end up with a broken gun. I'm not reliable for anything. Don't come, don't write a letter to the Mean Charles show and be like, Hey Mean Charles, everything's screwed up. You owe me money, because I will not give it to you. I'm not liable. Flash ad thingy here. Talk about oils and lubes, baby. So I'm going to use my favorite grease. You can use light, white lithium or a silicon oil-based uh, lubricant. But you should use a grease and an oil. Uh, I'm gonna use my trusty dye uh, white grease uh, Dow 57 
uh, you can use light white lithium and get that at Home Depot for like five ten bucks depending where you are uh, I'm gonna use a little bit of silicon oil spray remember don't use WD-40 that's water-based you want oil based uh, and then for cleaning contacts we want a little bit of rubbing alcohol 99% and some q-tips which will magically appear. and some q-tips wow how did i do that production value um to clean contacts but now you do want some paper towel wipe down the the, the 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 gunk the stuff the stuff of gunk you want to wipe down the gunk all right so we'll start by getting a paper towel wiping away the scum of the earth so you want to kind of go over all your gear, wipe it down, and go with your your gears, your sector gear, your type of plate, your cylinder, wherever. I kind of just did maintenance on this recently. It's not too too bad. It could be better. Everything can be improvement according to the internet. But uh, this basically just start wiping it down bit by bit. Um, with contacts, you can get spray for uh, electronic spray or whatever or you can just use um, rubbing alcohol on a q-tip and get in there and clean your contacts uh, because you know clean contacts are happy contacts with electronics copper likes uh, not to oxidize you know turn green like the Statue of Liberty you know the Liberty was actually that color mm, pro tip anyways you clean that off, you'll be, uh, you'll be a happy boy. Uh, now the one thing I see about this is the guy who sold me this said it would work well. Let's see, it's a fucking lot longer, dude. So now that we're closer, let's go ahead and start assembling this and uh, greasing it up. We want to start with the front cylinder portion and then um, work our way um, to the piston and uh, then go to the gears then import the spring with the spring guide and then put on the sector gear let's put in the piston and the cylinder head make sure that seeds in okay cool then we're gonna get the tap plate tuck that in to the cylinder head Or you can do vice versa, whatever works for you. And then you're going to get your nozzle and uh, you can spray a tiny bit of silicon oil on the nozzle or start adding your grease. I like to do a bit of both. Grease is more long term than silicon spray and a little dab will do ya. You know, you don't want to over grease or you'll just get a bunch down the barrel and then your performance will be down the drain. So you want to clip the nozzle into the tap of plate. You might have to raise. You might have to raise the cylinder but then you want to check for movement and that the, the nozzle is moving with the tap of plate because if it's not then you're screwed okay now you can move on and replace the spring the re return spring so hook it on the end first and then pop it on to the tab that holds the tension. You can do that with the Allen key or pliers if you don't have fingernails. Um, then we can move on to the actual piston. Piston, check for over grease buildup. Uh, you want to get grease on basically anything that touches metal. So grease up the O-rings, grease up the gears, and the guides for the frame. Then you can put some silicon oil on for the first wears and tears. 
You know, don't overdo it. That's the one thing. Um, for At least for the cylinder, you don't want to overdo it. Okay. And then that's the first start of the maintenance. Um, the trigger, let's remove that too. The trigger comes with a, um, basically a spring, and I'll show you how to properly put that in. That's as far as I'm going to go down in here though. Um, basically how to put it back together is you line up the whole of the trigger with the spring and then make sure that it seeds like this. Slide up the safety switch and then pop the trigger if I can Jesus what is this amateur hour okay there we go the spring into should be now seated uh, the trigger shouldn't be seated with the spring now properly and that it is making contacts with the copper and everything is moving safely. If it's making a clicking noise, it should not make a clicking noise. It should make just a gliding trigger pull noise. And you know it's seated properly. Okay, so moving forward, now we want to place in our gears. First things is first, if you can believe that's English, is you put a bit of grease in your bearings. Uh, and then you can grease up your gears This you can kind of go a bit more overboard on, um, but you know, a, a little will go a long way. Uh, if you have any shims, you can shim the outside and the inside depending on how you place your gears and how you build it, but this is how I build it. I put my shims on the top side. Uh, then we want to put in our sector gear. And how I put in my sector gear is I look for uh, basically um, the gear mesh to hit the very bottom. And when I slide that in, I just make sure that it does have movement and it starts to tickle the, uh, the piston. And that's how I build up my or position my sector gear when I close my gearbox. Now you can grease that up too. Some guys like to uh, get in there and grease everything individually. I liked it to you know get on the ridges and then kind of lubricate itself as it starts to work. Everyone's a bit different. I leave my shims on here the grease actually helps bond it and hold it with these kind of with the this gear especially that c connects to your motor you might want to go a bit more overboard with the grease um, just because it does the most damage when if there is damage to be had so you want to make sure that you know it gets a generous portion <clears throat> Okay, make sure that everything seeds, and we'll, we'll have to probably remove that uh, to get this reverse spring in. Now this is the bitch of the situation. This is guy. This guy is gonna cause you troubles. Um, so you're gonna have to be very patient with putting back a gearbox together, um, especially with this guy. Um, but I'm gonna put him in after the spring because you jiggle it loose everything goes gooses so we're doing that last okay we're gonna pop in our spring insert it into the piston and then put your allen key into the spring receiver put some weight down on the cylinder and start snaking this bitch into submission 
Wow, she's out of control. Oh, parents, help. Mom. Mom. Oh, fuck. She's a new one, eh? 400 my ass. No, I'm joking. Mom, help. Mom. Mom. Jesus, Mom, help. Oh, there you go. We did it, boys. My wrists. My wrists. All right. Now we want to be very... <laughs> I never had one this deadly before. Okay. So at any minute, this could come and hit you in the face and kill you. So you want to be mature, calm, cool, and collected for the next tasks ahead. Um... Oh, mom, help, mom. So when you cut your hand, and it's really hurting because your spring is just a piece of shit, you can put a rubbing alcohol on it. Ah! I got a booby. Oh, cats make everything better. A little dabble, do ya? Let's muscle this bitch in, cause she be killing me. Continue on the torture. It's master. All right, fuck this spring. You know what? Fuck this spring. Sometimes it's better research than ask a dude in the store. Pop that bad boy in. And that's how a spring should fit. Look at that. Holding by itself. Ready to go in my eye at any moment. Okay, so now that your spring is in and your Allen key for the pressure is in there, we can go ahead and relieve the tension on the re anti-reverse lever pop in the last gear make sure that you're centered to the piston so we want to make sure that our teeth are just about to hit our piston on our sector gear and that everything is ready to receive the top of the gearbox make sure that your ball bearings or bushings are in the housing and it's ready to close and you're not going to pinch any wires so we'll place this guy onto the lower half. And now this part, you want to get a maybe a small Allen key and guide the rest in, making sure that nothing is pinching. And it should just place itself in. You shouldn't have to force anything. And then we can go ahead and replace the screws. And then you can remove your Allen key and make sure that the shim height on your bearings is right and everything and that everything is seated properly. That's how you change your spring on mainly any gearbox, uh, but this is on my MP5, and it's very similar to M4 platforms, but this is basically how you do maintenance and change your spring on a gearbox. Cats make everything better.